Hello Destinites and welcome to the Destiny's Beginner Guide for finding a group, people to play with, and getting in contact with the greater community of Destiny. Now, if you played for a little bit and you're starting out, sure, strikes are fine, they have auto matchmaking, but say you want to get into some of the later game content like Trials of Osiris, that really cool player versus player format, or some of the raids like you're seeing now in this video, uh, you need to get that greater community, you need to get in contact with them, and it is not something built into the game. You have a lot of different options that are available to you, I'm going to tell you about them in this video, and uh, it should solve that problem for you. I will also make videos following this to discuss a lot of the things that I wish I had known when I was starting the game that could have made it so much more fun to begin with. So. Without uh, waiting any longer, let's get right into it. Where are these people? Where is the community? And how can you connect with them? So the first thing that I want to talk about now, some people can have this, some people can't. But if you can, it's really going to help you with all of this is if you have a smartphone and you can get it, whether you're on the Xbox or the PlayStation, I believe they both have applications for adding friends. You're going to want to get those applications because those applications when you're going to add your friends are going to make it much more streamlined because mashing away on a d-pad or a control pad as opposed to typing out on the keyboard of a phone is very difficult so that's step one you want to have that in your uh, your artillery to be able to do this properly next to that is now the places that you can find the community to play with and so doing my research I found that there are four fantastic resources that are going to get you into raid groups within minutes. Um, and they, they're across a couple of different platforms. So the first one that I want to talk about, which I talk about at first because it probably has the largest community. Excuse me. And I'll flash up all these details on the screen so you get the websites and everything. The first one is called DestinyLFG.net. Now DestinyLFG.net has the largest population available for people to play with, which is fantastic, and a, a great filtering system that you can use for the specific content that you want to play in. So if you want to do the Oryx raid, you can do that. If you want to say that you have a mic, you can do that. And if you link, this site is linkable with the Bungie website, it'll link your characters and their light levels and everything like that so people can then share their information, know who it is that they're connecting with. So that's a great place to go and at peak times you're going to find over you know 3500 people there looking to make groups fantastic resource and like i say you can filter out for exactly what you want to do now the next one that i'm going to talk about the one that i actually found first in my adventures to find people to play with is destinytracker.com that'll flash up now destinytracker.com really appeals to two things for me one that deep deep nerd in me that loves to quantify every detail of my gaming so if you want all your stats from your kills in the player versus environment or player versus player that's available on the site but in addition to that you're going to have available to you a live chat just like you have on Del destiny lfg.net where you can look for people to play with and it's happening, it's live, it has a legend that you can pop up and see, you know, what sh uh, shorthand commands will show what sort of content you're interested in, and you go from there. And where it seems to be on lfg.net, it's a very specific language that gets used. On this, it's an open chat system, so you can go into there and type whatever you want, although people will usually adhere to the sort of language that you would expect. Now that this is a beginner's guide, I want to let people know about two basic abbreviations that are really, really important to understand if you're just getting into this kind of game, and that's LFG or LFM. LFG is looking for group, LFM is looking for member. So if you see those abbreviations, those are the two translatable meanings. Once you get used to that, that's going to be just, you know, second nature to you, but if you're just discovering the game, that's really important to know those abbreviations. So I recommend using that site not only just to find these communities, but it's great to track all your stats that aren't available to you on Bungie. Uh, so that's really, really good too. All right, now we can come to the third one. The third one is an application that you can get on your phone. This is called Destiny LFG. Now this is kind of in its baby stages right now, but it's still really useful. 
and it essentially does the same things that destinylfg.net and destinytracker.com do, but in the form of an application on your phone. And it can definitely see some improvement. I will say that about it as well. For example, you can create a group, which is really handy, obviously, and people can join that group and you can look it up by time zone, by content. But once you've joined a group, if you go out of the application, it doesn't save it to anywhere. So if you're in the moment looking for a group, it's really good. But if you want to look ahead of time, you kind of have to dig through the information and find it again later. I wrote a review on this and it was nearly responded to immediately and they said they're already working on releasing a second applic or second version of the application that's going to address that issue specifically. So it is a great app. I've used it tons of times already regardless of those few those few little flaws that it has. So that's a third resource you have that's going to put you in contact with people. Start filling up your friends list on your Xbox One or your PlayStation 4, whatever it may be uh, that you're you're playing this on or PlayStation 3 actually come to think of it. Okay, now the final resource, and if you're of this modern generation, you probably know about this resource, but um, maybe you've only used it for other stuff and not thought to use it for this, and that's reddit.com. So R-E-D-D-I-T dot com. Reddit is a news post bulletin board, I guess you could say, and any sort of sub Reddit or you know subcategory of information on Reddit exists that you can imagine and so destiny the game and destiny looking for groups is one of them so create an account on reddit.com subscribe to that subreddit or search for it and then subscribe to it and you'll be finding people on Reddit as well really really easy to do so <clears throat> and also on Reddit, you have things uh, in addition to that now going a little bit outside of the just straight up finding people. You can find things as specific as people who want to do blind raids. Blind raids are when you go in and you have no knowledge of how to do anything in it to give you a really raw experience of the content, which can be, you know, kind of cool in, in itself. Uh, you have Destiny Sherpas. Uh, Sherpas are basically people who are willing to help another player out, teach them the fundamentals of a quest, teach them the fundamentals of a raid. Another great resource to find, kind of find like gaming mentors. Now that's the final thing I wanted to add on to this video and I'll add it on to every single video that I do with the beginner's guide. If you find this and you're looking for somebody to play with, I'm another one of these members of the community who likes to play with anybody and doesn't always need it to be with an elite. Uh, person who knows everything. I think we too easily forget that we all have to learn from the beginning and if we are con conscientious of that fact we all have a lot more fun. So if you want to add me my uh, PSN ID will be down below all the time. I'll say it here as well. It's Nicodemus D uh, and I'm on the PlayStation 4 so that's the one uh, limitation is that you would need to have a PlayStation 4 to play with me. But I, I welcome all new uh, friends on PlayStation 4, and I love to get through some raids and quests with uh, anybody who's doing the same. So I hope that you found this information useful. As I said, I'll be releasing continuously uh, Volume 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to deal with exotics, to deal with items in the game that maybe you look at and you think, I don't even know where I use this. I've just started and I, I don't get what's going on. So follow, subscribe to the channel, like, comment if that's something that in interests you. Thanks so much for checking out the video, and I will catch you in the next one. That is The Great Owl signing off for now. Peace.